Hey guys, this is John with 757 Woodworks, and today we're going to have another video about my IKEA K1, a problem that it has, and how to fix it. So, in using my machine, I did notice that the red laser that helps me position different items is pretty skewed in comparison to the actual laser head itself. So, I did reach out to IKEA Tech Support, and they gave me the instructions on how to align that properly. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that today. So, let's go ahead and jump in. So I've gone ahead and opened up Lightburn, and I've created this crosshair that I'm going to engrave directly onto the spoil board. This is going to let me see how square this engraving is in comparison to that red laser that's projecting down. I'm going to go ahead and frame out my square. And we're going to go ahead and burn this. All right, so I've gone ahead and moved the laser directly over top of my engraving. So you can see that it is pretty far skewed um, on all of the axes. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start the process of taking this off and getting it fixed. All right, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is remove the cable on the back and go ahead and get that out of the way. After that, we can undo the three screws that are actually holding it onto it. I apologize if my hand is in the way at all, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove these three screws here. All right, so now we've got the laser head off. Now on the back of the actual laser, there are four small Phillips head screws that you'll need to take off to expose this cover so that you can gain access to the laser. So I grabbed a small Phillips head for that and we're gonna take that off. Okay, so once you get all four screws off, all you're gonna go ahead and do is just flip this completely over. The back plate's gonna fall off. We'll set that down. Next step is to uh, loosen this screw and this screw here. That's going to allow the laser tube here to remove from the enclosure so that we can adjust it properly. All right, so I've got my laser outside of this enclosure now. And there is a little set screw right on the back of the laser. Now you will need to loosen that momentarily, but I wanted to show you exactly what you'll need to do. So you'll plug the laser back in, and that's going to light it up. And then you're just going to put it right onto the side of your laser head. And that's going to point the beam down just like normal. Now once you've done that, and you've loosened that set screw, you'll be able to twist the red laser and its holder to align it perfectly. Then you'll need to tighten the set screw and put it all back together. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've gotten it completely aligned. Don't do what I just did and completely loosen the set screw. You just need to loosen it just a little bit. That's going to allow you to make some fine adjustments. 
So lesson learned there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and mount it back on there and we'll see if it fixed it. Now in my particular case, I'm going to go ahead and plug back in this cord here before I put the back plate on. When I was initially putting it on, I did notice it was really hard to get it seated well in here. So I want to be able to press on this while I'm putting that cord in. I think it'll make my life a little bit easier. All right, and it is still very even. Okay, so now I have all four screws put back together. I'm going to mount the three screws here, and then we'll go ahead and position it via light burn and just make sure we're aligned. All right, that is good to go. Now I'll need to home the machine. And then we'll go ahead and move it to our position. Okay, so that is spot on. I would call that fixed. So with that being said, this video is over. I am going to be doing more videos on the iCure K1 here in the near future. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. You guys have a good day.